As a professional detailer, one of the things that I hate the most is polishing gel coat. So in the past, there's a lot of different ways to remove oxidation from gel coat like this. And one of the more popular ways is a buffer. You can use rotary buffers, dual action polishers. There's several different ways, but they're all very difficult. That's why when I recently heard about a new product, I was very intrigued and very curious as to how well this product product works. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about this product, the good and the bad of it. I did a coach, this coach behind me, about 75 days ago. I did the back of it. It was starting to oxidize. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the steps that we took and the process at how we applied this this product but before we do that i want to tell you a little bit about the good and the bad of this product i have to give a huge kudos to opticoat optimum polymer technologies someone over at opticoat saw my youtube channel and i'm very surprised that they still sent me this product because they actually sent it to me right after I had made another video basically bashing ceramic coating. So these guys were definitely very confident in this product, product to send me a free sample and to tell me to use it and give them their my honest feedback. This retails for about 60 bucks. So for them to send this to me after I just ripped a different product, I really appreciate that. And, and OptiCoat is one of the original ceramic coating companies, but the one thing I have to say about them is that they don't overhype uh, the, their ceramic coating. There's other ceramic coating companies that are known for overselling their product, and OptiCoat actually does not do that. They're very transparent. And they actually have one of my favorite products. It's called Optimum No Rinse. I made some videos a week or two ago while I was at Monterey Car Week, and some of the most expensive cars in the world are cleaned with Optimum No Rinse and just a small pump sprayer of water. So a uh, very cool method. And I've made a previous video called Easy Way to Wash Your RV with five gallons of water showing that product. So the results uh, are, are very good. I I'm extremely impressed with the results. The process is very easy to use. You can apply it without a buffer and it's it's uh, anyone can do it without having to work a buffer. You don't have to worry about burning anything. Just much, much more user friendly. Um, and the results, I'm extremely happy with the results. Optimum uh, says that this product is rated to last for uh, about two years. So we will see in a couple years down the road, hopefully um, this customer still owns this rig and hopefully I can keep you guys in the loop as to how this holds up. But um, I've, I've seen other products not hold up as well after 75 days of being exposed in the direct sunlight every day. So I'm definitely impressed with it. Now the one minus, there's some small little lines. If you really look closely in a certain angle of the sun, light you can see some really small lines and that's um that's so, so if you're a perfectionist and you're expecting perfect results then this this product may not be for you the major positive of this product is even a novice can apply this product um, in the past you'd have to go buy a buffer you'd have to go buy buffing pads actually that's a different expense um, you've got different polishes compounds waxes um, and then gel coat restoration you usually have to edge around the decals because the detail decals um, are a totally different surface than the gel coat so you have to edge around them it's very tedious very tricky and if you talk to any detailer that's been detailing RVs for a long time they will tell you that gel coat oxidation removal is really tricky so this is super easy to use I did try this with a different microfiber towel they only gave me one towel it's called the pro weave towel and I tried it with another towel and it did not respond the same way so it's very important that you use that towel now they did give me a gallon of their degreaser when we prepped it they tell you to scrub it with like a brush or a brillo pad and and um, their special uh, optimum degreaser and um, I hope they're not mad at me but their degreaser worked very well it was a really nice product 
but for the price point it was at, I didn't think it was a great value because you can buy similar degreasers for a lot less money uh, that just don't have that name brand on it. So um, they have a great degreaser. If you want to follow their instructions completely, I did. I used their degreaser because they sent it to me. So. I just don't know what's so much more special, if it looks like, smells like, acts like my other degreaser, like a Zep degreaser that you can buy at like Walmart for like $12, like a Zep citrus degreaser, was very similar to the product that they sent me, and I think their degreaser was like $35. So, But theirs may be much less of a cut. There's a lot of different things. I don't know the strength of the degreaser, but it just seemed like you can get a better value out of that Zep degreaser. So if you want perfection, go and spend an extra $10,000 on a full body paint. But if you're looking for a cost effective way to bring your gel coat back to life, I highly recommend this product. And if you do go ahead and buy it, I'm not, not posting a link. So maybe um, let them know in the comments, let them know when you buy it that you saw this product on my YouTube channel and maybe they'll send me some more products in the future to try out. So if you wanna see more RV related content, make sure to subscribe. I got a box in the mail with a new product. It has the potential to be a new way that can save a ton of people a ton of time on gel coat restoration. Now, I'm gonna put this product to the test. I have a lot of respect for the company Optimum Technologies. This is the new Optimum Technologies gel coat restorer, and I've been watching videos on it, and basically what I'm gonna do is use this Optimum Power Clean to prep the surface, and they're saying to, the best way is to use a scuff pad, and I don't have access to that, so it says that you can use a brush, and they're definitely saying that a scuff pad would be a better way to go, but I'm going to use an aggressive brush with the Optimum Power Clean and clean it before, and then all we're going to do is apply this. It, it, as I saw in the video, was that you put three dabs, and it's very important that you use this premium microfiber it's it's called a i don't know it's on it's on optimum technologies website there's a special they call it a micro weave microfiber towel i believe but this is a really good micro this is the type of microfiber towel that you will want to use with the optimum gel coat restorer so after it's been clean you dab three dabs onto the towel and spread it out evenly and Go over it, you're gonna let it dry for 30 minutes after you've let it uh, leveled it out in, in a small section, and then go, go back over 30 minutes later a second time, the same exact process, and then continue to go over it. So we're gonna give this a try. I've got people, I can sneeze and find oxidized gel coats, and it's something that I've stayed away from because it's too labor intensive and it's not a product that I believe in and I don't want to sell a product that I don't believe in. And no matter how many man hours we put into restoring a gel coat, in six months it's going to come right back to where it is. So I don't want to sell a customer a product that's not a good value to them and that's why I've stayed away from gel coat restoration and I'm hoping that this may be a potential product. I would have gotten my hands on it sooner, but honestly, I've been focusing my time on starting the YouTube channel. I've got so much work washing and detailing diesel pusher motorhomes that rather than spending time on, on new products, I spent my time growing this YouTube channel, and hopefully this is a platform that can help people like you find a product that might be able to save a bunch of time. So let's go put it to the test and let's see how, how well it really performs under real conditions with real detailers. So now that we've cleaned and dried the gel coat, it's fully prepped, we scrubbed it with a brush and the Optimum Power Clean, we're going to apply the Optimum Gel Coat Restorer. And this has to be applied with the Micro Weave Microfiber Towel. 
it's very important that you use this microfiber towel to apply this product. So what I'm going to do is put three dabs of the Optimum Gel Coat Restorer on the microfiber towel. So I just got done applying the lowers on the first half and we're gonna let it sit here for 30 minutes. And I have to say that it definitely does not look good after the first step. And that's what the guys at OptiCoat say we should expect. So um, this is how it looks after the first step right now. It is still drying. After the second step, I'm starting to have a little more faith in it. I'm definitely not happy with the current results, but we're gonna go over it two more times. This was pretty severely oxidized, so you can definitely see a lot of um, kind of swirling, and but it's, it's definitely starting to even out. So this is after the second coat right now, and I do have to say that it looks much better after the second coat then the first coat and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is going to look like after the final few coats here. So I just got done applying coat number three and it's it's still not a, a perfect finish result, but it's definitely coming back to life here. We can just see some of the microfiber marks from the towel, but it's definitely, the shine is coming back significantly. I'm a perfectionist, so I don't wanna be seeing any of these marks. So on this third time around, on this fourth step, I'm gonna be super careful. Now keep in mind too, we are doing pretty large sections at a time. We're used to doing this commercially and having to move quickly. So we've been moving pretty quickly through this and doing large pieces at a time. Okay, so now that we finished the third step, we're gonna do this fourth step and I'm gonna keep it really light. The coach is looking really good. We just wanna level out a couple things. So I added a sprayer and I'm just gonna mist my towel. And apply the fourth and final coat here. So there's definitely kind of an art to this that we're learning but it's finally really, really turning out nice here. Look, they're hard to see, but the, it's kind of like this gel coat restorer product. We, we're probably the only people that'll see them because we're perfectionists, but. It sure looks good. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more RV related content, make sure to subscribe.